Hi, this is Amy, and I'm recording on a Chromebook today to show you why I think you're going to be really excited about the Google Play Store Jamboard app. And I'll show you in just a minute exactly what I'm talking about, where I have gotten this version of the Jamboard app, which, you know, is available on all web-based devices uh, in addition to the product called the Jamboard, but that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about the software. So first of all, Jamboard is a cool core Google product. So like docs and sheets and slides and all of that kind of stuff. It's, it's a fairly new product and you probably already know what it does. I mean, you probably know that it has, you know, a pin and you can write and things like that. It's a collaborative, collaborative whiteboard space. I think most people at this point know that it has got a sticky note feature. Um, that's, you know, I mean, that's pretty kind of standard stuff. Um, but I want to show you some things that I think you might not know that Jamboard does now in this app version. So I'm going to change the color over to red and I'm going to change from the pin to the text recognition tool. So this is handwriting recognition. So, um, I'm going to scroll my name there with my finger on the Jamboard using my Chromebook. I have a, I'm using a touchscreen Chromebook and the text recognition as I think you can see is pretty great. But let me show you this feature. This is the shape recognition tool. So let's say you wanted to draw a rectangle or a circle. Maybe you wanna change the color and draw a triangle. You can see it's gonna transform your shapes into the perfect shape. And here's the most exciting thing of all. So this is auto draw built into the Jamboard. Let me get a new page so that you can see. So I'm going to try to draw a tree. And I'm just going to keep going, keep drawing my tree until I see a tree that represents what I want at the bottom. Um, this one always looks like a piece of broccoli with a fork in it to me. But anyway, I mean, you can see that it knows that I'm trying to draw a tree. So, and also I always accidentally do that with one finger, but it's two fingers to move it. So I'm touching this now with two fingers and I can grow it and shrink it and move it around and select it. And this is also how you can delete things that you don't want anymore. This kind of thing you get rid of with the eraser. And can you see like the pieces falling to the bottom? I, I love that little graphic, it's so cool. All right, here's the other thing that educators are gonna care about, about Jamboard. So when you go to your Jamboard app on the web, you're not gonna see this stuff and you're gonna be like, Amy, why did you show me that? I don't have it on my device, but I'm gonna show you how to get it. So this plus symbol at the bottom is gonna let you put things into your Jamboard. And the most exciting things that you can put into your Jamboard are things from Google Drive. So for example, this is a file from my Google Drive that I can put into my Jamboard and let other people access. So um, I'm not really sure I, I understand completely why it works like this, but when you double tap it, it's going to take out slides from your presentation. Um, I guess that this is so teachers can kind of control what students are, are seeing with slides. I don't know, but you can see I just keep tapping it over and over again. But anyhow, this is a slide from a presentation inserted from Google Drive right over here. So um, this is a picture. So I can take pictures that are in my Google Drive and put them into my Jamboard. Um, uh, you can put videos in here. Uh, it's just, it's really, really cool to be able to share and organize files in a visual way. Um, it has little emojis that are built in. Not that many of them, but, um, but some, you know, some way to easily add emojis. And I mean, all of these features just keep growing and growing and growing. Um, one more feature that has kind of confused me at first that you might care about is this little selector thing. So this lets you select things and move them around and grow and shrink them and all that. Um, and I, I don't think that that's 
super obvious what that tool does at first, but that's what that tool does. All right, so I promised you I would show you how to get this because I know that you're gonna want to use it in your classroom. Um, you're gonna allow, be able to allow your students to join, assign this to them through Google Classroom, um, or you can go up to these three dots at the top right and you can get uh, a code up here that you can give your students. All right, let me show you where I got this app from and how you can get it. So I told you already I'm using a Chromebook and you can get to Jamboard <clears throat> and you can see Jamboards by going to jamboard.google.com just like you can any other Google tool, docs.google.com, slides.google.com, all that kind of stuff. So there's the Jamboard. I can see it, but Here's the kind of disappointing thing right now, because this is the obvious way to get to it. And of course, this is really easy and everybody knows how to do this. But look, all of my auto draw tools are missing. I don't have my plus sign, so I can't pull things from um, Google Drive. Now, if I pull it from my phone, I will see it using this version of Jamboard, um, but I can't put stuff in here. So use your phone app and i don't know whether iphone has the same capabilities as android but android is going to let you do all those things that you just saw so here is where i got that app from you're familiar with the chrome web store this is the google play store so certain chromebooks of certain eras have the ability to have the google play store on them if your chromebook is managed by your school district so that means that the first person who logged into it was a school district person with a school district account, then this Play Store is managed by your Google administrator. However, if a Chromebook is not enrolled in your school domain and you log into it first with your at gmail.com account, then it will just be a consumer device unmanaged and you will be able to, on a lot of Chromebooks, see the Play Store. So once you see the Play Store and you go in, if you're using a consumer Chromebook, you'll just be able to go in and install apps just like you do on your phone through the Play Store. But if you're using a school managed Chromebook, then your administrator is going to have to choose which apps you have access to install. So your administrator will have to enable the Play Store on your Chromebooks and add some apps to the library for you to be able to install. So these are the apps that I have installed on my Chromebook, and this is the Jamboard app. Now, when I push this out, I put it able to be installed on the Chromebooks, and I also forced it to install and pinned it to the little uh, tray right down here so that I would always see it. So this is the Jamboard app from the Google Play Store, and that's the one that is gonna let you do this really cool stuff that you wanna be able to do with Jamboard in your classroom. So I hope that gets you excited about how to do this. Um, if you have any more questions or comments or anything about the Jamboard, please leave them here underneath this video on YouTube. We'd love to hear from you. If you're using Jamboard in your classroom and it's an important part of what you're doing, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you and talk to you more about how you're using it and what benefits it has for your classroom. Hope you enjoyed this video and that you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.